Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and we are going to open up probably my last big box of Co from Coco Daisy. This is the January kit uh, subscription box, and uh, as of today, I am stopping uh, a couple of my subscriptions. I'm still going to have a subscription, and um, I'm actually still going to have a couple of subscriptions. However, I am going to pick and choose what I want to get as far as like my planner kit and my planner add-on kit and that kind of thing. Um, I have <laughs> so much ephemera and stickers and such like that this year that I've not used that I've decided that um, for 2021, I am only going to get the things that I really, really love. Like if they involve coffee, <laughs> or rainbows, definitely. So uh, this was the January box and I went ahead and picked it up because I love having it set up uh, for January and I really loved the design of the January box because it, it actually reminded me of last year's box. So let's go ahead and get it opened and I have the um, the week sticker kit, the planner add-on kit, and the regular planner kit. So those are the three kits that I get. And we're gonna put this box off to the side here. So this is the uh, card. It is called New Chapter. And it is 2020 has been quite the year. As it comes to a close, we're looking forward to bringing you yet another year filled with innovative and exciting new products, as well as some old favorites. We hope to continue to inspire and encourage you, push your um, creative boundaries, and of course, make a daily schedule a little brighter. On a personal note, I want to thank you for supporting the Coco Daisy team and me through this crazy year. We couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. I cannot fully express how grateful I am for you and what you've helped us accomplish this past year. Christine. And this is the theme for this year is new chapter. Let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains. Look forward to what's coming. And that's awesome. It's a great sentiment. And I love how colorful it is. And the little birds make me happy. So we will go ahead and again, as I said, we have the week sticker kit. And this is the planner add-on kit, which has been what I have normally gotten over the past several years, actually. So we're going to go ahead and open up the planner kit. All right, this is the washi tape. I'm going to go ahead and open that over here to the side so you guys can see it and of course trying to find the edge is kind of crazy sometimes so it's got like a splattered paint feel love this life you got this change is good and that looks to be the end of it so love this life change is good you got this so I do like that a lot. And as you can see, like I said, it's got that splatter there. Hold on. Still trying to figure out where everything is here. I, um, past few videos, <laughs> I'm just like, where do I have my camera? So, all right. And then this is, I believe, ah, oh, yes, this is the pen. And it is polka dots. In this kit, we actually, or in this whole thing, we get a pen and a pencil. So this is the pen. It's got the Coco Daisy Daisy at the top and black crystals in the middle there. And to change out your pen, you just twist this bottom and you unscrew this. And there you have it. So it comes with one insert. You screw that back on then you just push this back in. There you have it. But I do love these pens. 
and um, they are very useful. I, I have so many of them, but I do love them. They're just very comfortable to use. They have a, a thinner, um, probably closer to, I want to say a 0.38 or a 0.4 tip or nib, and I just like the way they write. The only thing that I wish is that they had a bigger ink cartridge, but she does include two ink cartridges in the kit, so you get a total of three, so that is actually a really good thing. All right, so these are the sticky notes, which I think are freaking adorable. I actually tried to get more of these, and they were sold out. So daily note, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with a little pencil and a dot grid, and these are a sticky note, and it's pretty well stuck. I mean, it's almost, it, well, actually, it looks like it is over halfway of the sticky note, so that's good. And let's see what else. Get the big things out of the way. This is the um, bag. Where the heck there it is? The uh, zipper pouch that comes with it. And I thought this was super cute as well. It's stuff goes in here and it's got the little bird and you've got the black tassel and the black um, smoke hardware. This will get taken off and given to my cats because they love it. It's got a cream inside and it just says stuff goes in here. So but these come in really handy and um, I have several, but I use them. I use them in my book bags, in my, um, in my carry on, all of that kind of thing. So as many as I have, I do use them. So let's go ahead and get into these. Now, this is something that I typically do not use. <laughs> these are puppy stickers and it looks like they're all birds, which they are very cute. I just don't really use puffy stickers, but that's okay. I usually gift these to various friends and things like that, but they're very cute. And they do have an adhesive back, so you know. And these are the uh, die cuts, but they are, I think as of like September or October, they are now all stickers, which makes them so much more functional to me. And I just ripped that bag, so we will Probably not worry about putting them back into that. Um, as I've said many times before, you can use this this as a tip-in. Um, I typically will take, um, I will wipe this out and then take whatever washi tape and wrap it and use it as like a tip-in to either like a pocket or use it as a backing card of something. So there's that. So we will do the tabs. Let me get these kind of sorted out here. She usually has a very wide variety of tabs included in this. And so here are the tabs. I love the pencil one. I think that's awesome. And there's that. And again, as I said, they're all stickers. So that one, I like that. Oh, I really love this one with the little stars. So I think those are cute. And then you get pencils. Create the future you want. Everything is figure outable. Love that. Um, crushing goals one day at a time. Uh, your story begins right here. Good things come to those who hustle. And I think... Oh, and then we've got strive for progress, not for perfect perfection, which is amazing. I love that. And then we had one more tab, which is polka dots, which goes from like a dark red to an orange and yellow. I like that. So we've got some sayings here. Do what is right, not what is easy. Then you get a little heart. Start each day right. With coffee, that is true. Trust that you'll get there. Be the writer of your own future. I love that. 
the sky is not the limit. Gold Crusher, um, feeling optimistic. To tea or not to tea? I like that. I have actually, over this 2020 time, have learned to appreciate hot tea much, much more. Um, turn, I want to, turn, I want to, into, I can do. Okay, I like that. 2021 resolutions. Working on me, definitely. And welcome 2021. And this is kind of why I really wanted the 2021 January kit, because it has a lot of things that I can use throughout the entire year. And so I really like that. Um, plus I like the tabs. There are that. Okay, so we're gonna leave those over there. We will go ahead and open this up. And typically I don't put anything back into this bag, so I'm going to stick those into here since I kind of ripped the bag. So that those of you who know Tear the Destroyer, he would totally spread those everywhere. Okay, this is the notepad, a list of things I, event I will eventually do in no particular order. I love that. Um, I have an entire list of, this is my to-do list to do over my Christmas break. I have a 16 days off as of five o'clock today, and which is just in a few hours. So yes, I will uh, be doing them in no particular order just whenever I feel like it, but I love this. And I, I use these notepads, so that will definitely get some use. And again, the repl uh, placement ink cartridges for the pen. And we'll go ahead and do the stickers. So these, are, these work really well on the tabs, but you have notes, a blank one, January goals, month at a glance, meal plan, uh, New Year's resolutions, another blank, hello January, trackers, to do, daily to-do list, challenges, and another blank. Then smile, your box of happy is here, January cleanup, hair appointment, Manny appointment, doctor's appointment, reveal day, important, uh, weekend off, uh, crushing goals, coffee date, grocery list, exercise plan, and then um, they all have like little birds on them. And then you have your, uh, little to-do stickers, welcome 2021. I will probably use that. I, I do have the Dory for January. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll figure that out. Um, those here. And then your other, um, stickers, January. I love the pencils. Um, New Year's Day, National Hot Chocolate Day, Looking Ahead, National Hug Day, Resolutions, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, To-Do List, um, Take Note, and then you've got Coffee, Takeout, Shopping, Bill Paying, Recycle, Trash Day, Instant Pot, um, Cleaning, Washing, and Planning, and then your hearts, two, two more sticker tabs, Coffee Pot, uh, coffee stickers, and then these are the little circles that you can use for your um, ring planner, which I do on occasion use. Um, I use a Filofax personal molden as my wallet, and so those do come in handy for whenever I need them. So I have that. Then these are the papers. They're more of a card stock, but they are double-sided, and they are um, in the A5 size. So you could split it down the middle and have four. So you've got the birds on one side. Ooh. Okay. I love that. That is awesome. Then you've got the little cross hatches. And I know there's a term for this, but I can't remember what it is. Um, and ooh. Okay. One of my favorite fla flavors. Flowers. <laughs> One of my favorite flowers is Daisy. So I like that. Ooh. Okay, I like those columns, so that would 
possibly come in handy for something. And then you've got all of the paint splatters and things like that, which I think is very festive and fun. So those are the of the uh, card stocks. Put this over to the side. And then this is the standard dory. And um, this is for January, although you can use it for any anything that you want. Um, it, do, it does, for the first page, have the January calendar at a glance for the month. But other than that, it's undated completely. Um, this is your year to make it count. Uh, big dreams, making plans, smashing goals. And I, I think I will probably use this for my 2021 goal planning. Um, I'm still working through my uh, Cultivate What Matters for my goals, but this would be a very handy um, thing to keep just on my desk um, or, you know, in one of my many <sighs> Traveler's uh, Company notebooks, but I may be using that just to work on some of my goals and on my 101 goals in 1001 days, which I am also doing again this year, starting again as of December 13th. So I can put that in there as well. So trust the timing this week. Um, you should keep going just to see what happens. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've done that. Daily pick-me-ups. Good things come to those who hustle. Be kind, work hard, stay humble. Smile often, stay loyal, keep honest, travel when possible, never stop learning, be thankful always, and love. Uh, dear 2021, let's try this again. <laughs> yes, please. And you've got today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. I love how each one of these has quotes. A lot of times they each page or each spread doesn't have quotes, but I like that this one does. A list of things I will eventually do in no particular order. Mindset is everything. Control, alt, delete. Control yourself. Alter your thinking. Delete negativity. Okay. I love that. I love that a lot. Dear self, you can and you will. Um, one of the things also that I will probably put in here is ideas for self-care as well. Decisions of decisions determine nesting. Decisions determine destiny. I'm like, de decisions determine nesting. I'm like that doesn't make sense. Decisions determine destiny. Goal crusher. You are never too old to set another goal or to learn another dream or to dream another dream. Oh my goodness. And people wonder, you know, why, why cursive was never, was never uh, popular because people have a hard time reading it, even though that's not really cursive, but it's the weird font. Um, 12 months, 52 weeks, not 53 like 2020, 365 days, 8,765 hours. Make them count. I like that. Um, but yeah, I will probably put in my goals or use this as a goal, kind of a just a pad to kind of get what I want. Work on some ideas for self-care for my 101. I, my, <sighs> can you tell it's been a day? My 101 goals in 1,001 days and some things that I want to get done throughout the year. So that's what I'll be using that for. Um, then next we have the planner add-on kit. So let me go ahead and open that up. We will keep that just in case I rip another bag. This is the other washi tape. Oh! <gasps> goodness okay we're opening that one too because it is super cute let's see if I can find the edge here okay well since I can't seem to find it or find the camera oh my gosh 
it's daisies and flowers. I really like that. It's very spring-like. So there's that. Then you have a pencil, which um, I think comes with some lead in it. Let me pop this bad boy open. And as you can tell, it is opposite of the pen, which I think is cute. It's actually shorter than the pen. Again, has the daisy on the top and has lead in it. Then I think has an eraser right at the top. So there's that. I really like that pencil. That's cool. Um, we've got paper clips. which I'm totally digging the black. That's awesome. So dream, believe, and achieve. And you've got a little blue bird. I will probably send that to my best friend because she loves bluebirds and she is the songbird. And I think that's awesome. So plus she loves black. Okay, we've got more die cuts. Let's see if we can get these out. And these are also stickers. So there's that. So reach for the clouds. And this one's easy. You can see the sticker there. Your weekend banner. More pencils. January 2021. Pencil it in. Coffee. Plans. So these are some, you can use these as tabs at the top. Uh, to do, and then these are just sticky tabs that are only one sided. So you have those. You can put them together to make a tab on both sides. So you can do it that way. Um, and then these are to use with a paper clip. You just fold it in half, and it's sticky there. Some cute little arrows, appointments to do, hot cocoa, and tea, month in review, things to do, item of note, random thoughts, think positive, get organized, cute little pink birds, then some little ha circles, let your dreams be your wings, that's cute. Think positively and move forward. Weekly goals, more arrows. Goals this week, then a blank arrow. They just have like little patterns on them. So those are the other set of die cuts. Let's just push those over to the side. Then we've got the uh, little things here in this rice paper bag. And I have so many of these. That I don't really use for anything, but I just like having them. I don't know why. Kind of weird. And they used a little bit of the Life um, washi tape. So yes, you can with the paint, paint splatters as a uh, pocket card. Then this is the um, palette for this month's kit, which I like. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? <gasps> okay. I do love the coffee cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one thing at a time, goal crusher, don't give up, get stuff done, trust the timing, work on me, today I will, and things to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And little birds. And then you've got alphabet stickers and date stickers and little thing stickers there. And these are the um, days of the week and your checkbox list there and then this is a dashboard um more of a personal size don't stop me now Mondays are just mini new years <laughs> okay that's hilarious um best part of waking up is still a mystery to me uh goodbye weekend we had something special 2021 let's try this again work at it a little bit every single day one of the things that i've actually been doing um this past i guess about a month and a half is I've been trying to clean or organize or do something every day 
and noting that in my planner, and that's actually worked out really well. Uh, same dreams, fresh start, keep it simple. I'm gonna stay inside, it's too peopley out there today. Oh, how I have learned that is true. Every goal starts with go, create a future you want, be the best version of you. I think that is very cute, cute little birds. There's that. And then last but not least, we have the Weeks sticker kit, which this is a subscription that I am keeping because I do enjoy them. Uh, all right. One thing I have learned, though, is that um, I do use these in my Weeks. Just be warned that, see if you can see that, see how I've been using these all across the bottom? for most of the weeks. It does create a little bit of a divot there. And so I will probably not be putting them on both sides just to cut down on that lump because when you start writing here, and I haven't really noticed it until that we're at the end of the year, it's like on these bottom, uh, parts here, it's harder to write on this side of the weeks. So just be aware of that. But let's see what we've got here. These are the, the date covers and I don't, I don't really use these in my weeks. Um, I may use these in other places, but, um, I like the Hobonichi paper, so I really don't see a point in covering it up. I do use the groceries or the meal planning at times. So there's that. Then, where it is, here it is. These two you actually can use together. And this is what I was talking about. These bottom stickers go across the bottom of your weeks in the weekly spread. So this is your year, make it count. Hello January, let's start the year, let's get the year started. Whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. Start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. That is definitely the theme for my uh, 2021. And then you've just got some decorations. Now, as I said, you can kind of mix these up. Like, this is your year. Make sure it makes you happy. Hello, January. You can use these however you want to use them. You can also use them separately. These are a tracker for a week. And then you've got the January 2021, and you can write the, the number of the week that it's here. You can also just cut that however you want to do it. So those are very cute. I like that. Then you've got the three box checklists, um, regular boxes. And these are all designed to use in your weeks. These I use a lot this week, but <laughs> interestingly enough, I actually use these in my Hobonichi Cousin. And you've got the heart checklists and the circle checklists. Today, to do, and this week. Then you've got different stickers that match the whole kit. Then you also have your Monday through Saturday that match up with the week's um, squares on the grid. Then you have, these are actually washi stickers. So the stickers are, um, have like a clear background. So they're not actually, they're opaque. So they, you can kind of see through them. And then these numbers will fit in here if you wanted to use them that way, or you can use the numbers any way that you want. And then you've got different, um, you know, like trackers, pay bill, lunch date, next week, little coffee cup, and all this small steps every day. I like that. I can, I will, but it's cold, I'm on it. So these are very, very functional. And the beauty of them is that they fit in the back of your weeks. Like I have, I've got like two or three months worth in the back here already so that I can pull from them. And this is a, a, a Chic Sparrow weekly cover that I love. And I just keep them in there so I always have them with me. So they're very convenient that way. And again, like I said, I use these throughout all of my planning. So there you have it. So that is the kit for January. And I am looking forward to using it. 
and I will probably be using it throughout the year. Um, one of the upcoming videos is how I am storing all of my Cocoa Daisy stuff. And to kind of just give you an idea of how much I actually have, because I haven't been using it very much this year. And I'm not, I'm not a huge ephemera person. Like I don't tape things in and do tip-ins and all that kind of thing. But it's something that I want to do. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I think if I have it all kind of organized, and I do somewhat, um, but I haven't really bothered putting this year's into it. So I will be doing an update on that as well for you. But like I said, the um, having all of these um, different subscriptions uh, for my Coco Daisy subscription box is not going to happen during 2021. Um, I want to be able to get through what I have and we'll relook it in 2022. But for right now, I got a lot of stuff and I want to use it. And it's going to be a lot more of a depth year or use what I have kind of a year and um, spending less on bigger bulk items and pinpointing exactly what I want. If there are things specifically that I want, then I will get that. So I'm not going to do like a no spend kind of thing, but I am reducing my subscription down to what I use the most so that I can get through using what I already have. So there you have it, the January kit, which I'm very excited that I have. And uh, yeah, we'll go forward. And I will still do Coco Daisy unboxings with the stuff that I do have. And um go from there. So I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you are going to do like a lower spend kind of uh, 2021 or if you're adding more to 2021, which is also something that I think a lot of people are doing as well. So do whatever you feel is comfortable. And uh, that is what I'm doing. But by no means are you required to do what I do. So there you have it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday and I will see you soon. Bye.